here in the desert of New Mexico, in a lonely canyon, an ancient rock painting bears mute witness to one of the great catastrophes in the history of our galaxy. In the year 1054 Earth time, a star in the constellation Taurus ran out of thermonuclear fuel and collapsed. The result was a supernova explosion. Today that spot in the sky is marked by a glowing cloud of gas known as the Crab Nebula. It is 13 light years across and still expanding outward at a thousand miles per second. At the center of the nebula is the dead star's crushed core, a neutron star. Neutron stars are the densest visible objects in the universe, the children of incredible and indelible violence. More massive than the sun, but less than 20 miles across. But what if you had two of them? A collision would release more energy in a couple of seconds than a normal galaxy does in a year. The larger star collapses into a black hole, taking the remains of both stars with it and out of the universe. Some of the hottest and fastest material escapes oblivion and orbits the black hole in a chaotic donut of particles and radiation. Magnetic fields a billion times stronger than our suns create an electromagnetic highway, pushing powerful beams of electrical particles out into space at the speed of light. This is a gamma ray burst, a clap of doom reverberating across the universe. For astronomers on the other side of time, the birth announcement of a black hole. The lights go out for good as a pair of stars say farewell to eternity.